Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy uh, to be with you guys again. I've been very busy, but you guys have been on my mind. And um, well, we're going to get started. Uh, please relax. Um, just sit back and let me take care of you. So today is all about being your true authentic self. And uh, of course, I picked a card for the collective. Okay, I want you to see if you can see it. I am a perfect being of light. Okay, freeing myself of perfectionism. Guys, don't pay attention to any spiritual teacher that says that you need to suppress or suppress crying, suppress when you're angry because you're not being positive or because that shakes your frequency. No, it's okay to cry. It's okay to react and get angry at someone. Just don't be an angry person, right? Because then you got to let that shit go, right? It's okay to experience these feelings that arise. I recommend when these feelings do arise, uh, of course, you're going to let it flow and you're going to be angry. Let's say if it's angry, you're going to be crying if it's crying. And uh, But what you're going to do differently is you're going to become the observer of these feelings at, that are occurring to you, okay? So that'll give you a sense of detachment from it, like if you're watching a movie. Release the emotions, cry, be sorrowful, be sad as an observer, and then you just let it flow and move and keep moving never against the tide all right so that's what we're going to be focusing on is releasing these these delusions of of perfectionism in the spiritual world or you're if you're in a spiritual journey it's okay it's called embracing your shadow all right so today I have two little stones that I'm going to be working with and uh, one is peacock ore. Okay, peacock ore. And we're going to use that just to kind of help us out in trusting again in our own divinity. And not also our own divinity, but trust that we are having a human experience in, nor in, in order to transmute to, uh, you know, that divine experience, even at a quantum cellular level, okay? Super cute. And guys, I, I want to say one thing before, like, we, you know, we head on, is that it doesn't matter the size of the crystal or the stone that you're using. If you're doing self-healings or have it around the house, it doesn't matter if they're small or big. They're still amazing and incredible at uh, same energy star aragonite <clears throat> okay just for us to release some of that negative uh energy negative um you know things we say are about ourselves negative narratives and we're going to be using this for uh for clearing any uh negative thoughts and energies and even negative um, uh, energy coming from other people remember your auric field is much longer than when your body is so like 15 feet across uh, so you know some people they like to attach themselves uh, via your uh, auric field and we're gonna work on that as well I wanted to show you my beloved new ring, which I'm in love with, uh, it is Amber. And I'm also going to be doing uh, some healing work with Amber. And that's why my rings are turned around. And I'm also going to be doing uh, some with 
a, my smoky quartz. You can't see it on this lighting, but it's a beautiful, lovely luxe brown, okay? And finally, I'm going to be using my beautiful black raven feather, okay? For clearing, for kind of, you know, melting down this, this perfectionist thought that you have of yourself uh, that might be even holding you back. Uh, from just from the path right from the path that you have decided to go on all right so I'm gonna be quiet and let's get started free that negative frequency from your auric field
collect and bring back all of your energy get all of your power back Flushing, transmuting, transfiguring. All that no longer serves us. Thank you so much for journeying with me today. I hope you have a great day. I love you. Namaste.